Fatality. You can't handle the truth. Yes, 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 yes. Welcome back to One Away Dragons TV, baby. It's your host, Lemon23, aka Lemetheus. And happy belated Labor Day to everybody. I got plenty of gaming news for y'all. So hit that like and subscribe. But wait a minute. This Thursday, for that 4K. Blu-ray digital download code. The winner will be announced this Thursday. And I might have some special plan for Friday. But next giveaway will be Men in Black. And after that, John Wick 3. Woo! Like and subscribe. Now let's hop into this gaming news. Now I told you we got plenty of gaming news and I don't want to keep you long. I want you to keep your attention and I want you to get right into this action. The first piece of news we're going to talk about is that Borderlands 2 VR is coming to PC and PlayStation VR via an update. You heard it. During PAX West, Gizbox Software has shown a PC version of Borderlands playing. And as you see from this video in the background, you already know to be excited for that. And the update will include the badass mega fun dlc and it also will be available on playstation vr for free come september 6th that's three days from now Woo! that's what i'm talking about i might be over there on that vr dropping the vr dime now check this out now this is keeping it short and sweet nintendo is set to have a Nintendo Direct tomorrow. It will be set on September 4th, 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. That's 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, my time. And it said the games that they will be focusing on will be launching this year, including Pokemon Sword, Pokemon Shield, and Luigi's Mansion. Now, you know your boy Lemon is an advocate for Luigi's Mansion. If you a Nintendo Switch fan, what are you looking for in tomorrow's Nintendo Direct? Let me know in these gaming streets. I'm curious. I tell you, short sweet Nintendo Direct tomorrow. Woo! Let's talk EA Access. Well, not really, but when EA Access dropped on that Xbox system, people was like, why would you purchase that? Well, look, people are, they are leading by example. And Uplay Plus has launched today. Now this is what's crazy. It is $14.99 a month. Come on, son. $14.99 a month. Come on, son. Are you serious? $14.99 a month to only play Ubisoft games when EA Access is $29.99 a year? Well, if you're that much of a Ubisoft fan, you'll be able to get your hands on Assassin's Creed Odyssey, Assassin's Creed Origins, Far Cry, New Dawn, The Crew 2, Ghost Re Recon Wildlands, Trials Rising, Watch Dogs 2, and many more. They talking about up to 100 games. But, in addition to having access to the library, subscribers will be able to play these new titles three, day three days early. I wonder where you got that from. <laughs> EA Access. <laughs> EA Access. <laughs> but, it looks like they had numerous bugs being reported on the launch and it hasn't launched as smoothly like they anticipated they are currently working on these problems if you're thinking about going over there and being a uplay subscriber not for no damn 14.99 a month and that's only goddamn ubisoft games nope but i leave it up to y'all to see what's gonna go down with that now now we all know Sony PlayStation is the number one console seller this generation and they are definitely, they definitely, definitely have plenty of Japanese love and favoritism and f favors 
being handed out. But it looks like Platinum Games has said that game that dropped on the Nintendo Switch, which by the way I will be picking up, looks pretty damn awesome. Yes, reminds me of Nier Automata, the animated version, but it looks like Hideki Kamaya says this game will not be releasing on the PlayStation 4 platform. What? Now, it baffles me as a third party game, how do you make more money? It's by releasing your games on other platforms. Your boy Lemon is picking this up. Astral Plane looks, Astral Chain, excuse me, looks completely amazing. I didn't pick it up yet, but I'll be picking it up this week. And I'll possibly be streaming it for my Nintendo Switch fans out there. You already know if you haven't jumped into the game, you can see me play it and see if you like it. Thanks. But th this really baffles me about Platinum Games. They're like tied in with Nintendo some way. I don't get that. Power to the players. Now. Now I have received many of many of many of many of questions asking me, Lemon, will you be able to control cross play and who you play with in Call of Duty? And your boy got the answer. It's official from Infinity Wards Studio Narrative Director Taylor Taylor Kwasi and multiplayer designer Joe Cicetto. I hope I said that right. They went on to state, for those worrying about auto lock on characters that they'll be playing against in online, you can opt in and opt out and choose who you play with. You don't like keyboard and mouse, you ain't gotta play against keyboard and mouse. You don't like people that will auto aim, auto aim, logging on your head as soon as you walk by, the cursor moves with them, you don't have to play with them either. This is a fantastic situation, one of the best things i hope they have is playstation versus xbox on and off that's all i'm caring about pc guys i love y'all keyboard and mouse stay up behinds over there i'm good over here but i want to versus my homeboys in playstation or play with them because we have the same game on two different platforms which is basically the same game it is the same game that's the on and on switch that i want to see they didn't mention that in the interview but I am looking forward to that and you know that game launches October 25th and we will be able to play the game's beta and give feedback real soon and I'll be live with that on Xbox and PlayStation facts now if you're here for the title you read it correctly spoiler alert spoiler alert we got a surprise Giz character and if you read that title you know what I'm talking about Dave Batista you know Drax from Guardians of the Galaxy he's in Gears 5 as a guest character now this is what I am talking about if you're gonna put anybody in the game that kicks some serious ass, Dave Batista is one of them because he kicked a whole lot of WD WWE ass. He kicked a whole lot of, uh, I guess you can call it a uh, Guardians of the Galaxy ass. He kicked a whole lot of ass in there. He did get his ass kicked too because he's a little slow. But this is a great addition to the game. And from the picture that I'm showing y'all, boy, he looks fantastic. And yes, he looks right at home. And the glasses is a nice touch. My man look like, yeah, I see red. All your blood is red. Facts. And they have a 15 minute gameplay footage up of the story mode. I didn't want to put that video up. I'm going to put the link in the description because I didn't want to spoil it for anybody. I don't really like doing too many spoils here. We don't like doing that. But if you feel like being spoiled before that game drop or watch me stream this week, Go check out the video, hit the link in, 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 in the description, and follow it there. Now that's all the news I have for you today. Remember, like and subscribe for a chance to win these DVD, these 4K Blu-ray movies, man. And I got some other stuff to get out. I might be giving away some VC Live with some 2K20 popping. Maybe I'll bust my man Boy 100, head to the white meat, or even K-Mega. It don't matter. Bring it. Competition is great. Like and subscribe. That's all the news I have for you today. And I'm out!